welcome to tonight's Big Brother 16 premiere recap! Oh my god, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Can you believe it's finally here? No. I was ready to throw <laughs> up all day. I was so excited. Yeah, well this was just part one. It's a two-night move-in. Too much good all at once. Yeah, so before we jump into it, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's chatting with us on Beamly. Um, the whole month leading up to the season and tonight, the live chat was popping. It's a good time. We're sending out the much love. Yeah, if to you're not you already Beamleys. on Beamly, do it. Don't There's be lame. There's house guests in there. Don't be lame. This is the coolest thing you'll ever do in your life. Yeah, big shout out to Rachel Riley, who likes to type all in caps. Nice. I dig that excitement. Brendan! <laughs> all right. So many effing twists this season. Julie can't even fit them all into one night. I know. It's sick. It's crazy. All right, so we begin, as all seasons of Big Brother begin, with the, oh my god, I got a key. Am I supposed to care about this? <laughs> um, are you trying to pull the wool over our eyes? There's a camera crew there. All right, so the first eight entering the house, Paula, oh, uh, sorry, Paula. Pow, pow. Sorry. Donnie. Hello. Cody, Frankie, Amber, Nicole, Devin, and Joey. All right, you have one hour to pack, but first, we must talk about Cody's family. Oh, my God. Is Cody part of the Vogelcheck family from SNL? Oh, my they God. Were all <laughs> they were all in a group makeout sitch. <laughs> That it was pretty hilarious. And scary. <laughs> All right, so first four F-nuts to enter the house are Cody, Amber, Donnie, and Joey. All right, so Donnie was the only one to just run into that fire room. Fire! Reminds me of Burger King. Or uh, Hell's <laughs> Kitchen. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, Nicole. Uh, oh my god, the whole time I was just worried about peeing my pants. Oh, Nicole. <laughs> Her voice is cute at first, and then grating. And then you want to get an ice pick and stick it in your eardrums. Maybe they'll have a special filter for her. Oh, I can only hope. We'll see. So, Frankie and Joey, instant hair attraction. Of course. Potential My Little Pony alliance there. Oh, brony. <laughs> All right, so Pow Pow is totally clueless. She She's just totally clueless. Oh my god, I well, think there's going to be a twist. She's the first female DJ in the house, so don't forget okay. that. Okay. <laughs> Champagne time. Pop. All right. This is one of my favorite parts of every season. When they introduce themselves, they go around in the too. circle, around the couches. Well, Amber doesn't just love this. She loves Devin. Potential showmance there. Two empty heads make maybe one. Everyone seems to be in love with Cody, too. Frankie and... Paula. Yeah. All right. I think, like, 90% of her diary room time was devoted to talking about Cody. Did anybody else notice that there's, like, four pairs here? Kind of. I mean, Joey and Frankie, of course, which keeps making me think Frankie and Johnny, that old song, but it's Frankie and Joey. You're old. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Pow Pow and Cody. Amber and Devin, you know what that leaves. Nicole and Donnie! Oh my god, when they were talking about They're having an pair. alliance together, I was just like, yes, I hope they do it. But it's only going to happen if Donnie can remember Nicole's name. <laughs> so fingers crossed, okay? All fingers right. crossed. They, after a few hours... Devin is ready to, to talk game. Well, yeah. He is like, okay, sure. the first eight... Let's stick together, no matter what. I'm getting first five flashbacks from Big Brother yes. Canada, and I'm throwing up in my mouth a little bit. They're calling it the Crazy Eights. Now, already out the gate, <laughs> Joey is kind of like, uh, you can see it on her face. She does not want to be with this group. No. No. I don't see them sticking to this. Time out, guys. It's time to do Mamma Mia Aberteen. Oh, my God. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. He's a little diaper dandy. He certainly is. I predict he'll be shirtless for most of the season. I can Just see a that. diaper. All right. All right. So, Devin is really making moves very early on. I hope he doesn't go overboard. But he's also trying to put together a little side alliance with Donnie. He's I think like, this was you incredibly look smart. smart of him to do this. If and they could I'm keep very this a secret, I think it would work out. I think so Devin too. Devin is the brawn, and Donnie is the beard. 
He's definitely not the brain. I think he's got a brain in there. Uh, um, I'm calling <laughs> it the double D's. Well, also... Oh, my Lord. No one will suspect this. We'll see. Also, within the Crazy Eights, there's a girls' alliance forming. Oh, this I'm not very excited about because I think this is just a cover. I think This these, is not going to happen. These girls are going to tear the asses off the other girls after yeah. about five minutes. So Paola's like, okay guys, I came up with this name, El Cuatro. I love how you're using a masculine pronoun for your all girls alliance. Oh my god, what does that mean? <laughs> Nicole didn't know. She obviously took French in high school. Obviously. <laughs> or something else. Alright, so Julie comes on the screen, she's like, house guests. Was Julie full of piss and vinegar tonight, or what? I, don't know. I think she did about three five-hour energy shots right before the show because she was just happier than a pig in you know what. Very unchenbot like. Exactly, she was out of control. She's excited. She's about to blow up some people's games. I think those ladies on the talk got her butt fired up today. Oh no! But she's like, guess what? It's H O H time, bitches. <laughs> One of you is gonna be the first H O H. But. You won't be completely safe. What, Julie? Yeah. Oh my God! People were getting out the defib pa uh, paddles because they were having heart attacks. Mm -hmm. Especially Frankie. Yeah. All right. So, Pow Pow and Cody. There's a little romance. A little bonding brewing. time. He's young. She's not that young, <laughs> but she don't care because he is fine. If you guys didn't know. Pow Pow is is good friends with Gina Marie, as far as I know. So shocker! I hope we don't have another GM Nick situation on our hands. Uh, or maybe I do hope that. <laughs> I don't know. I think Cody's kind of into her. I think so. All right, if he can get away from the mirror. All right. So a little while later, Julie's like, "All right, it's time to suit up or suit down into your what? swimsuits." Those were the most hideous swimsuits I ever did see on Big Brother, I do declare. But it looked like they gave them some nice sneakers. Some of the ladies should not be wearing bikinis, so I think Let's not get into that. <laughs> so, the competition is called Go Fly a Kite. And they're out on the Big Brother backyard beach, walking on a giant Rolling roller. pin <laughs> thing. So they have to hold on to their kite while they're walking on this rolling thing. Obviously, it's an endurance competition. Yes. Last one standing, or walking, is the new HOH. The very first HOH. Best part of this competition? Dolphin sound effects? And the baby crying sound effects. The baby effects. crying was amazing! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Pow Pow's off first. Oh. <laughs> I thought Devin was gonna be off first, but he wasn't. Yeah, he hung he in there for a while. It. Joey was next. Her center of balance is kind of off. You know what I'm saying. I was surprised because I thought she'd have a low center of gravity and she'd be good well, on this. Well, maybe. But anyway, um, after they were gone... <laughs> the sunscreen came out. It's time to turn it up a notch. You don't want to get a third degree burn on Big Brother Beach. So, Nicole went next. Then Donnie. Then Devin. But Cody was still up there and you know who wanted to lick that sunscreen right oh. off of him? Pow, pow. Too much. Too much. So it ended up coming down to Amber and Frankie. And Frankie wins HOA! After the most pathetic throw of a challenge. Yeah. Amber was just like, done! <laughs> she didn't want to win this HOH because no. what Julie said earlier freaked her out. Yeah. All right, well... If that, did, if that freaked her out, this next part blew her drawers off. Okay. <laughs> Julie came on the screen and said, House guests, a second group will enter, and one of them will also be HOH. What? I think they assumed that eight more people were going to show up, mm -hmm. but I think the second HOH thing was a surprise. All right. Well, if that wasn't enough, house guests... By the end of the week, there's only going to be one HOH. <laughs> oh All my right. god. So that so, really blew their minds. So then Julie was like, okay, I'm done with you. She addresses America. She's like, all right, kids, it's time to talk about this Team America twist. So... Remember when all y'all were on CBS.com voting your little hearts out for who you want to be in alliance with? Yeah, it's a big deal. Well, it's all 
part of the show. Okay, so here's how it works. We are going to continue voting. Mm -hmm. And the top three vote-getters are going to be in the secret alliance with America. Yes, it's called Team America. Yeah. Very original. So these three are going to have to do challenges and other stuff. But it's a secret. Shh. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like when Eric was... America's player. But it's kind of like three, three America's players. I think they did that to make it more fair because they didn't want to single any one person out. I think also maybe they were nervous that America's player would be like the first one out. Right. But I don't know. Are they going to know about the other two? Are they all aware that they're like in this alliance together? Or I'm is it thinking a that they're all going to know that they're in it together. I don't know. All right. Well. I'm not sure how I feel about this twist yet. So let us know what you guys yeah. think. Yeah. They also gave us a little sneak peek of the other F, of the other eight <laughs> F nuts that are coming into the house tomorrow. I can't wait to see the two groups interact. You know I it's know. gonna be awkward. Very. Uh, if you want to see our breakdown on the cast, it will be linked in the description box. Yep. Also, and that link for Beamly in the description. It's there. It's waiting for you. If yep. you haven't taken that path yet, take that path. Exactly. And until tomorrow. Much, Much love. love. Edit. Edit.